Move on to race number seven, the second last on the program, and a high class affair as well. A class three uh, sprint here over the thousand meters, headed by Diego Costa with the blinkers back on barrier eight for him. Beauty Master returns uh, from Chartin, run up behind Top Beautiful there. E Super, big winner last time out, most beautiful, who's fourth in that race. Mr. Wright was runner up behind uh, E Super. Keep moving. He's uh, first up, runner up last time out. Racing mate also behind E Super, as was Silver Spun last time out. This is a good sprint race. There's uh, one or two nice young horses in this and keep moving primarily the one I'm sort of touching on. Um, most of the others we've seen around for a little while. But the pace should be fast. I think keep moving's got options. He can either lead or he can sit in if Diego Costa, Beauty Master or even Thor the Greatest want to kick up. Who knows, E Super might be desperately trying to lead again as well. Here he is now, E Super. Um, he's had that win uh, fresh up. He's moving nicely enough. He's still well rated this horse. And it's not a bad piece there from him as he comes down. Uh, 800 metres, you can see he's, you know, he's taken no harms from that effect. Then he backed it up on the 3rd of October with this piece as well. So he seems to be over his uh, problems from last season. He had lots of problems last season. So if he can put two together, uh, that's the question mark. Second up for him. Uh, he's going OK. For the greatest, he, he likes... Uh, he always works well, this horse. He's a big, strong horse. Loves the back straight. His last win was over 1,200 metres. He's racing here over 1,000 and uh, having a good gallop down the back straight here just to get him right for this um, uh, event. And Keep Moving is going really nicely. His trials have been good and his track work's been first class. This is the 18th of September, so it's a little while ago now. You can see he's under a, a real decent hold uh, by Neil Cullen's done all the work on him and then he comes down here and it's a nice piece, he uh, looks alert, ready to go, so I really like him tomorrow. He's won twice over the trip, that was at Chartin down the, uh, the straight, but he has trialled at uh, Happy Valley and done it well, so we'll, mm. we'll come back to him in a second. Uh, let's start off though with E Super, it seems like he's taking on half the field, he beat them from barrier one with the seven pound claim, so it means the chasing pack are all 16 pounds better off. That they are, exactly, so it's a huge turnaround really, but it was quite a dominant win, so sort of marrying that all up, I'm just going to sort of lean against him and, and shop elsewhere but he is going well and he's still quite well rated yeah i've got him in the numbers uh, just for third uh, i thought most beautiful was a really good run coming out of that uh, zach purden's aboard now as well so um mm. i've got him ahead of him in the numbers mm. racing. I think you can overturn them yeah racing mate was finishing off nicely yeah. as well as were most of them in actual fact but uh, beauty master let's have a look at him and uh, sweetie barley this is down the straight yeah, well, as I mentioned, a couple of nice young horses. I think Sweetie Barley's actually a nice horse, but I don't think he's quite ready yet. He's going to want a little bit more time and, and further. And Beauty Master, I know he's got seven pounds off. Uh, Matthew Poon riding for Tony Cruz. I'm not sure and I'm not convinced that he handles the valley that well. He often runs well at Shah Tin, but I'm not convinced about him at the valley. He's had six goes there, just one third. So... I'm going to let him go. I've got a bit on a place line, just a fourth mm. line, but I don't know where you're coming from. Yeah. His record doesn't look that good. All right, yeah. here's an interesting horse then. We saw him in track work. Keep moving. Um, so he's won over the trip, we know that, Char 10. This is the trials coming in, Wei Fung Vili and Thor the Greatest included. Yeah, it was a good trial here. He runs second uh, in this particular trial, but um, he trialled at Happy Valley as well. He said two trials at Happy Valley and he's won them both. Mm. So uh, I think that's the key as well. Yeah, I like him too, Paul. And I thought he showed last season, back in mid to late April, when he defeated Strathclyde by a couple, that he was a very impressive youngster going forward. Yep. Following that, he had an excuse or two behind Dragon Master when he stepped up in class into class three. He's had the off-season. I think he's got better. He's got options. He's the one I'm going to tip to. That was Little Giant just sneaking up his inside as yeah. well, wasn't he? He's back on the weekend. Both Thor the Greatest and um, the other one there, Wei Fung Vinny, also trialled well. Yeah, in they trialled OK. And Wei Fung Vinny's, changed, uh, Wei Fung Vinny's now changed stables and with Frankie Frank Law. Law. All yeah. right, really good sprint this one, Paul. Yep, keep moving though. I really like him. I'm going to make him the best of the night. I'm going to put him on, I'm going to just back him to win. Most beautiful coming out of that E-Super race and uh, Beauty Master for fourth. So 8 6 three, two, but really like this eight. Yeah, it's a good race. I like him too, Paul. I'll tip him. Keep moving as the on-top selection. A um, couple of swoopers. Wei Fung Vinny, racing mate. And I think they will trondle along in this. And Diego Costa, if you look back at his form last season, he absolutely bolted up when they went quick and he just peeled out and went whoosh uh, off the back of a good speed. I think he'll get the race run to suit again like that. His second up record's good and he's got blinkers on. I'm not a huge fan of him, but I think he'll get it run to suit. 8-4-10-1, QQP 4-8-10 for me.